All right, all right. Welcome, everybody, to Good Morning Football presented by IBEW. Here we are in New York City on Wednesday, September 4th. We have breaking news. I'm Colleen Wolf. That's not the breaking news. With me, Carlison, <laughs> Peter Schrager, and Kyle Brandt. And you guys, it's finally done. Ezekiel Elliott, the deal has gone down. And it's big. Uh-huh. That is right. Okay, so let's just get right to it. Let's, let's bring in our insider here, Ian Rapp. Come on, Rapp. Ian, I know you've been all over this. So yeah. what is the latest? What? How did this go down? I feel like it just happened moments ago. It did, in fact, just happen moments ago. The Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott have agreed to terms on a massive, massive contract extension, according to Jane Slater and myself. Six years, $90 million for the Cowboys and Zeke Elliott. Sources say more than half is guaranteed, so more than $45 million in guaranteed. All in all, that puts the Cowboys uh, under contract with Zeke Elliott for eight years, $103 million. Obviously a massive deal for their franchise running back. And look, when Zeke Elliott uh, came back from Cabo to Dallas, the plan was always to do a deal. It was just a matter of making sure that the guarantee was right and making sure uh, that it wasn't a backloaded deal, that Zeke actually got the money that he was slated to make. They talked late last night, and from what I understand, the plan always was for Elliott to be on the field today during Wednesday's practice, the first practice of the game week. Now that's exactly what's going to happen. All right, so we will see Ezekiel Elliott on the field, newly minted Ezekiel mm. Elliott on the field today. Ian, thank you for that, and wow. All right, so we spent the last 24 hours on Zeke Watch. Mm. I felt like it was like watching Santa on Christmas Eve. It yeah. was almost like he was on the radar. We knew he was coming totally. in from Cabo. There were people at the airport <laughs> right. that were spotting him. Yeah. So now we got paid. That's a lot of money. Let's talk reactions here. What do you think, Peter? I was texting with Ian last night, late into the night. I'm yeah. talking like 10, 30, 11. 11 and That's Garrett right, Fol- got to be up in the morning. That's Gar- not that late for Garrett a lot Fol- of late for us. Garrett follows on the text like, "All right, well, like we got a show at 7 a.m. <laughs> Guys, I really need to know like is this getting done now?" And it hadn't gotten done when we woke up. It is done now. And honestly, I don't know where I will be in 2027. That's a long time away. Ezekiel Elliott is with the Cowboys on contract for eight more years. He had two more years on his deal and just signed a six-year extension. Zeke Elliott will be the face of the Cowboys for the next eight seasons. Hey, we can go through the numbers. We could talk about whether it was smart to pay him or hold out or whatever you want to say. I'll say this. The best player on the Dallas Cowboys is going to be a Dallas Cowboy for nearly a decade to come. And I think everybody involved, no matter how the sausage or the tortilla chips got made on this one, (laughs) is happy that it is over. I don't know week one what, what kind of version of him we're getting, but I do know for the next foreseeable future, Zeke Elliott's a cowboy in NFC East. Watch out. I think it's chorizo, Peter. And uh, it? Yeah. right now the chimney outside of Jerry World has white smoke coming out of it. <laughs> they have signed the contract with Zeke. I just got to – my immediate reaction is, what happened? Did the, did the Cowboys blink? We've been talking all summer about Jerry Jones. We're not going to do anything to compromise the long-term future of this team. You don't need a Russian champ to win a Super Bowl. Zeke who? Uh, Zeke Rockefeller, Zeke Carnegie, Zeke Bezos. This is massive numbers, and we'll get into it all day, but this is a guy who had a 1,000 touches the last three years, and Peter, I think he's going to be the Cowboys running back for the next 26 That's years it. and $50 million a year or something. This is wild. I, my first reaction is the Jones family blinked. That's my take. Wow. Yeah, it may be. Listen, about a month ago, uh, Jerry Jones was talking to the media. And he said, imagine, imagine you're in a car accident, okay? <laughs> and you leave the car, and you're bleeding. You get in the force, and you're bleeding out. And he ain't bleeding, and I was like, what is he talking about? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, imagine this. Imagine this, Jerry. Imagine you start the season without Ezekiel Elliott. Mm-hmm. You don't want to imagine that. And that's why they paid him. So this is the reason why they sit there going on and on, contract renegotiations, going back and forth between Agent and Zeke and the Cowboys, and finally they locked him in. Now, I get it. Eight years is a long time. You said almost a decade, but we forget, and you guys failed to mention, that Ezekiel Elliott is just 24 years old. So let's let's say he plays out the duration of this contract. By the time he's 32, he is hitting the peak, 
That's right before everybody assumes that a running back is on the other side of the hill. So for me, this is perfect. It worked out great for everybody. Zeke gets paid. The Cowboys get to start running back. And guess what? They start their season with one of the best running backs in the business. So for what it's worth, they won, Zeke won, and of course, us as media, we won. The Zeke plan is one that maybe I should follow. Let's hear it, Kelly. Everybody what is it? Follow. What is this plan? Fantastic. He was like training camp, schmaining camp. I'm going to go to Cabo, <laughs> work myself out, be in shape, and then I'm going to show up right before the season starts, and I'm going to get a mega deal. You ain't like, lying. That is sort of living the Great dream. plan. Right? It's, listen, when you are this talented, you can do a lot of things. Melvin Gordon's sitting around and playing Xbox right now, all right? Zeke Elliott is the guy. And here we are. So it's it's Wednesday morning. You can think he could probably practice today. Usually yeah. Wednesday is the day. Thursday, a little run around there. I don't see any reason he's not going to be out there touching the ball Sunday against the Giants, right? I mean, this majorly affects this game on Sunday. All right, well, let's 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 take it to that because, of course, we could talk about the money and how it all went down and how the sausage was made, Chorizo, you yeah. said. <laughs> but X's and O's, pure X's and O's. If you're a Cowboys fan, you're sitting back saying, well, Nate, Kyle, what's going on with him as a running back? Is this going to work? this weekend. I'm not sure. I don't want to pump the brakes on everything and, and, and try to calm down everybody from getting too excited. But just think about this for a second. They get Kellen Moore. He's elevated to offense coordinator. He's young. He's never done it before. He's in a position where he has to add more creativity to this offense. So, of course, they're going to add stuff over the summer. Zeke was there. He decided to hold out of training camp. I will tell you firsthand, training camp is where you put in most of your nuggets. Training camp is where you gain most of your energy. It, your, your chemistry. Training camp is where you take the momentum from the weeks before the first game and you start off fast. I think that's the key point. It's not that he missed preseason games. Everyone misses preseason games. He wasn't in training camp. He's been gone for over a month. I think in the NFL, it's really difficult to get off the couch, learn an entire new offense, and then go out and roll out and play. He might get carries. I don't think he plays as big a factor as he would have had he been there all summer. Yeah. Does it matter because of the position he plays and the player that he is? Like, Does that factor in in terms of when you're looking at guys who miss training camp, who it hurts the most? Yeah, he's dynamic. So, of course, just having him on the field helps. But if you're Kellen Moore, is there a certain part of your playbook that you can't call because – Zeke wasn't there. You know what? Man, I want to call this third down, but Zeke might not know what he's doing. That's the ultimate concern. Now, I get it. There's fax. There's email. He could have got plays sent to him through a, a pigeon in the sky. But a carrier, carrier pigeon. pigeon. Nice. Yeah, but yeah. still, not bad. But still, good. being there firsthand, the Kyle, you know how important it is, especially Zeke. Zeke isn't a finesse back. He's a four down back. So being there for a month or not being there for a month, that could impact the playbook. He's four downs and two commas in his salary. And guys, <laughs> What would be the gift right now for exactly how Dak Prescott is feeling? Is it, I don't know, but let's see. Demarcus Lawrence has a deal. Uh, Jalen Smith has a deal. Lyle Collins has a deal. Zeke has a deal. Dak Prescott is, what, five days away from playing a game without also, his Jared contract? Goff. Jared Goff has a massive deal. So I don't know what the Dak Prescott gift is right now, but, like, I, I, hello, I'm the, the QB1 for the Dallas. Is it that guy? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You tell me, or maybe, I, or maybe it's the this is fine doggy again, but Dak Prescott, hello, he's got to say, it's like Homer man. Simpson into the bushes, maybe. Yeah, maybe like that. that. Well, well, hey, but that's it, though. We, we, you start off by talking about uh, Christmas, and it seems like Santa is home. Maybe he's looking for a different type of gift. He's under the tree. Like, wait, wait, where's my president? I don't know. Yeah. Jerry, hold up. I've been a good boy, right? I, I've been showing up for every practice. I was there at training camp. I did it the company way. I didn't even speak on the other guy's contract negotiations. Oh, and not to mention, I've been doing the damn thing for three years. Where is my money at but Kyle you said this over the summer I feel like Jerry Jones and the Cowboys will allow Dak to earn his money versus give it to him before the season starts and now that we're here just days away I feel like that might be the case we're finally at that reality of Dak Prescott entering the season without a new deal unless I mean we got a few days guess Peter. what Joe Flacco he did it Mm. Earned himself the richest contract in NFL history by going out there and winning a Super Bowl Dak Prescott if you're betting on yourself right now I love it. <laughs> well, yeah, because Dak also, when you're looking at Jared Goff, Jared Goff, he brought the Rams to a Super Bowl and got yep. paid. So Dak doesn't really have that leverage right now unless he goes pretty deep into the playoffs. I just can't believe he hasn't said anything. This is the Manchurian quarterback here. He's a microchip in his head. All these players are getting paid, paid, paid. Literally, the owner is making jokes about there's not that much pie left. And Zeke just came in and took a giant ass double slice. I just, at some point, Dak needs to say or do something. I mean, this is Him nuts. And Julio, though, we're just doing it a different way. Maybe so. Julio well, well, ain't the QB, Kyle. Yeah. On the flip side, now, now, who knows if this really happened? Do you think that Dak Prescott, behind closed doors, was sitting back saying, listen, 
I want to get paid, but more importantly, I need my running back here. Okay. Because mm-hmm. if Zeke is behind me, I can really break the bank. If Zeke is sitting in Cabo week one, I might not get as paid as much as I want because this offense might not be as good as I need it to be. Well, I'm sure Dak loves this, too. We're going to talk about it all morning. Uh, Jared Goff also got a huge deal. Jared Goff ain't going nowhere. Most guaranteed money ever. Ever. <laughs> we'll talk about money. that. Look at that, man. Beautiful headphones, beautiful release, beautiful contract. The Rams are just batting down the hatches. They're not going anywhere. We're going to talk all about that. We have awesome guests today. The QB1 for the Minnesota Vikings, Kirk Cousins, is coming out.